I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by uh, Jennifer Robinson from uh, SAS. Jennifer, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to uh, talk to us today. Now let's kick off. What are analytics? Well, in short, um, analytics are used to take uh, data and turn it into information. And the way that's done is through the use of mathematics, statistics, predictive modeling, and machine learning. Why are analytics important to uh, local governments? Well, local governments collect a lot of data. Sure. Every day they're adding and adding to the records that they store. And when you take all those records and you're able to bring them together to integrate them and run statistics on them and analytics on them so that you can f have, find those patterns that show relevance, then you can change the way that you do business to uh, be more efficient, to be more effective, to save lives of your citizens. There are many benefits with using analytics. And how do those fit into uh, smart city solutions? Okay, well, um, we like to use Bob O'Neill's definition of a smart city, and that is a smart city is one, is a local government that uses technology to improve the lives of its citizens. Okay. And so you often see the different parts of a smart city solution. It starts with collecting information, communicating that, and then you have to do something with that information. And if you don't do something with the data that you've collected, then you're, you're pretty much collecting it for no reason. Right. So um, analytics, data and analytics is at the, the core of smart city solutions. So a lot of folks will be watching you today and saying, you know, Jennifer, that makes a lot of sense, but how do I start doing that? Okay, that's a, that's a really good question. So um, the first thing a local government would do would be to identify areas that they want to either improve or an issue that they need to tackle. Sure. And once they've identified that, the next question is, what kind of data do you have? Because unless you have data around it, it would be really hard to do analytics. So you have to um, survey your data. And then oftentimes you want to bring data in from many different areas, from disparate uh, data sources. So um, a lot of governments find value in taking data from different departments and bringing it into one place and integrating it. Once you've accomplished that, then you're really ready to do analytics. You've, you've gotten your data in one place, you've cleaned it up, and then you're ready for your findings. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. It's such a fascinating subject, and thank yeah. you. Well, thank you.